My name is Evan Reynolds, and this is my R2 unit. He is fully remote controlled, as you can see. He talks. We've got a program for 12 different sounds. Both of these have a pretty good range. I did this at a museum uh, fundraiser event once, and I was about 30 feet away and able to control him and make him talk with no problems. The dome turns and has its own power supply and its own receiver so that you can spin it as much as you want, and there are no cords to tangle up. You can just keep spinning. All these panels open up. This panel has a kill switch so that if I'm unable to be near the control, I can just hit the kill switch, he will not move, there are no powers going to the feet, so that he'll stay still. This one, just to be used occasionally for storage, this one, sometimes I put a remote in. This one has fuses, because I had him out once and he hit a crack and it blew a foot motor uh, from a power surge. Now we'll blow one of these fuses, which is much easier to press. Uh, if I turn around, I can show you some of the insides, although I do want to hit the kill switch. Let me pull this off. Why don't you take off it? I don't want to take off accident. And on the inside, you can see this is the receiver for the remote control. And I will show you the remote control. This is a very nice one. It's JR. There's multiple channels so I can actually control everything. This is the receiver for it. it Maybe hard to see from that angle, but this is a Vantec that controls the feet motors. Uh, it does the automatic mixing, so if I just go left to right, it will mix the signal and control both feet. Uh, battery is powering that. These two batteries are powering the feet, and this, uh, there's another battery in here that's powering the sounds. This is what I'm using to control the sounds. There's a SD card in there. You can just put any WAV files on it you want, and that's what it'll say. Now, you can see an extra motor here. The third foot actually raises up or down, controlled by this motor. At one point, I finally took it out, so now it's not really functional, but if you hooked it back up, it would go up or down just fine. There are two motors in the sides, which you can see down in here. These two motors control the side legs, and they will actually go from two legs to three leg position and back. The only problem was I couldn't control the ankle locks, so in two legged position it would just tip over, and eventually I decided I was just going to finish and didn't stress over it. If you can see the feet, should I rotate them? Let me hang on one second. You can see there's actually a chain drive controlling the feet so that both wheels are turning so as long as any of that is on the ground it will move. The front is controlled by three omni balls so it just spins and rolls but all the power is by the two back feet. He does need a relatively flat surface to run on but he does great as long as he's on a flat surface. I also want to show you, give it just a second to power up. I don't know if I showed you, these two arms also both open. There is one more thing I wanted to show off before I uh, de demonstrate what the dome can do. Those two panels open up as you can see. This, by the way, was originally to raise and lower a periscope, but I've hooked it up to a wedding ring so that it will lift a wedding ring out. R2 has been a ring bearer before, and that's been fairly nice. This brings power up to the wedding ring. I haven't got it hooked up right now so I can get the dome on or off, but I'll show you that in a little bit. And you can see a separate receiver, separate power, separate speed control. This is to raise and lower this, and this is to light up the lights on the dome. It works very, very nicely, and because it has its own separate power and speed controller, there's no wires going to the dome and nothing to risk twisting up. If I put this back on, 
I'll show you the last feature. Xander! I promised my son he could do this. Out of the dome, you ready? Has a card fountain. It can shoot a stream of playing cards, but I think some of them will hit in the ceiling. So I'm very proud of that. Alright, let me get the dome powered on and I'll show you what it can do. Alright, we have uh, hooked up the dome so I can show you some of the dome stuff. To start with, I didn't actually get the holo projectors working, although it does still. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Do my only help. But you will notice the holo projectors do actually move. All three of them do. You'll also notice uh, one thing I didn't mention before all this is custom made aluminum. So I will show you some of the details later, but it's a metal dome, it's a fiberglass body, metal feet. So he can take quite a bit of punishment, although I wouldn't like it if he got punished. Now, you'll notice these lights, which I'm fairly proud of. This light lights up and actually changes, and if you turn the dome to the back, this is lighting up as well. And also this little projector also moves. Now, he, I mentioned he was the ring bearer in a wedding. So if uh you ready? That usually can hold a wedding ring. And when you're done with the ring. Shuts itself behind it, which I'm fairly pleased with. Now to show you a few of the more details, again, custom made aluminum pieces. These are also custom made aluminum pieces as is this right here and on the side can you see this bit of detail here? It's a really nice piece under the uh, arms. Everywhere you look everything is shiny and I'm actually just really really pleased with the level of detail on here. You can again custom made metal pieces. Can you see the detail on this one? It's gorgeous, and under here, again, more custom metal pieces, and you can see how the leg is attached to the body. Again, it's an all-metal leg. It's not going to break or go anywhere. Let me just put this back in here. Uh, Both feet uh, have chain drives, if I noticed before. So if I pop this one out, I get my fingers under it. There we go. It's held on by magnets, so it's easy to get off. Well, magnets and some clips I made for the top. But uh, once it's on, it stays on quite well. On the backs, you can see these custom cylinders, custom pieces here, metal pieces here, metal pieces all under here. All these details are metal, and just I'm very, very proud of them. On the domes, I only hinged this one and this one. Now, of course, it's being held shut now by the remote control. Now, can I do the card trick? My son is dying to do the card trick again. Let me know when you're ready, Karen. Ready. All right. <laughs> Clearly, it's easy enough that even a child can control it. Let's see, what else can I say? Alright, I guess that is the tour of R2. Thank you.